Howdy guys, it's Nintendo Creason welcoming you to the final battle with Gruntilda. So you're back, you must be thick. Again, you'll lose. I'll cut off your dick, and I'll make it quick. Alright, fine. How can I resist that one, seriously? Okay, so this is the final battle with Gruntilda, in case you couldn't tell. We actually do get to fight her, yay. Let me zoom this shit out a little bit here. So she's gonna charge at you and her large mass for 2,000 is gonna stall, and that's your chance to hit her in the ass. So make sure you avoid the fireball she hits after that. So she'll charge at you two times, and you can hit her, and then on the third hit, she'll charge three times, and on the fourth, she'll charge four times. So it's really pretty simple. We just have to do that. Make sure you actually hit her. Alright, so charge again. Now, considering how pathetically easy the bosses have been up to this point in the game, I have to give them credit. They really pulled out all the stops in this final battle. I mean, there's a lot of different stages to this, a lot of different crap you gotta do. And it's actually, I'm not gonna lie, it's a really tough battle. At first, it's not too bad, but they really, like some of the later stages are just holy crap. So, you gotta stay on your toes for this. Stay on your sticky toes. <laughs> she hits it in the head, trying to make it work better. Now on this stage, or when she goes from one stage to the next, she'll always shoot one of these fireballs in between that you can't avoid unless you defuse it with a gold feather. Now she's going to go over here to the battlement, I guess is what you call them. Oh, nice shot, jeez. And uh, if I can get the camera just right, I want to try to get it so it's pointing straight. Yeah, like that. She'll throw four fireballs in a row, and then you'll have a chance to actually get up on the battlement and actually hit her. So one, two, she does them pretty slow at first, so you can actually probably get on there in between these, but you want to try to mislead her on the fourth fireball so she misses, and that way you don't have to dodge the last one and you can get over to the, you know, on top of the thing in time. So we'll go one, two, she's doing them a little faster now, three, and four, and then just get up on the Yeah, if you know all three eggs are going to hit her, just go ahead and head to the next one, and you might be able to get off the eggs in time. Oh, man. I could have had all three of them there, but... Two... Three... Four. So just fire off the eggs and go. Crap. Man, it zoomed in like that, and I thought I was dead. <laughs> I mean, I knew I wasn't, but... Oh, crap. Two... Four. Crap, I didn't do that right. Do it again. One, two, three. Misleader on the fourth one. And nail her. Shoot, sometimes you can just go ahead and hit her all three times with the eggs, but it's not always doable. Crap. One. So I can't count, apparently. She throws four and then she takes the break, so. And that's your chance when she takes the break like that to. Actually, nail her, and I... Oh, I did get her, thank god. <laughs> okay, that's three, that's four. Got her. Okay, now she's going to throw another super fireball. And she'll have to use the gold feathers again. <sighs> and now she's going to go flying in the air, and this, to me, is probably the hardest stage of them all. This is the one where you're most likely to die, because you're liable to actually go off the edge while you're beak bombing, or you're going to have to beak bomb her in the ass. And when you do that... Well, shoot. <laughs> Couldn't get my positioning just right there. Um, I will turn around and try to hit you with fireballs. So, just use a red feather to avoid those. Swoop yourself up in the air and... Uh... Oh, see, now that wasn't exactly a very good shot. And I could have died there if I had... You know, especially if you're aiming downward towards her, then it's especially dangerous. So you're best off if you can get her from a distance, but then you're a lot more likely to miss, obviously, so... Yeah, see, that just totally screwed that up. <laughs> I've actually died at this, like, about five times now. And it's mostly been on this stage that I've been dying, because I just keep screwing it up. Oh, and that's exactly how I keep doing it, is by landing on the ground as I'm flying. And, you know, it's not taking damage that's the issue here. It's just staying in the air and not going off the side and falling into the pit. It's a lot like the Bowser fights in Super Mario 64, except it's actually a lot worse. 
this is the one part of this game that I would actually say is harder than Super Mario, because most of Super Mario, most of this game is really pretty easy by comparison. Oh man, could you have been any closer? Yeah, I prefer to do it at close range just because I know I'm going to hit her at close range, whereas... I'm going to get some distance here. Try to get to the outside of the arena a little bit here. And maybe, well, see, I thought I was flying to the outside of the arena, but... Mm, there we go. Nice, right in the face, man. That must have hurt. I probably popped a ward. I love the music in this, too. It's awesome. Just, holy crap, all the music in this game. Oh man, that was nice, right while she was throwing fireballs at you. Wait, do I have another hit left? I hold on hard. Oh, okay, we are done. Sweet. Special shield I need to call to stop your hits once and for all. Now she's gonna pull up a shield and you're not gonna be able to do damage to her at all. Period. No matter what you do. So, at this point, you just have to dodge the fireballs until the miraculous thing that's coming happens. The Jinjo statues. Nasty witch speak too soon. Jinjo's come to help Bear and Bird. Come on then, you little punks. Grunty spells will blow you to chunks, or whatever she said. So now you want to shoot eggs into the little holes on the statue. And just keep moving, you know, go in different directions. And uh, the Jinjo's will actually do damage to her. Oh, actually, she actually got me that time. Just don't ever walk in the same direction for too long. Don't zigzag either, because that actually helps her. You'll walk right back into the path of the fireball again. Oh, we never got this one over here. I thought I got that one. There we go. Alright, I believe that's all of them. No, that's not all of them. We got one more over here. We might actually have to shoot more than one egg to activate these. I'm not sure. I think it was just one, but whatever. Oh, yeah. I don't like that too much, do you? I bet you thought you had me beat, but look, I've landed on my feet. She just doesn't die. I'm telling you, it's one stage right after another. Now she's going to start throwing them really fast. So you, you really just got to keep moving. Oh, crap. I didn't use the gold feather. That's the one problem with being on Kazooie. Uh-oh. I am the mighty Ginginator. Activate me. Please, activate me. Even with your extra friend, I know you'll meet a nasty end. Let's go ahead and get the eggs in there. At this point, I almost don't even worry about taking a hit. Just get the eggs in there. In the four sides of the statue. Because that's all you gotta do. I mean, yeah, we're taking hits left and right, but I don't care. Yeah, whatever. We got enough health to survive it. At this point, I just want to be done with this. Died way too many times of this now. There we go. Once the uh, statue closes up like that, then you know it's okay. Make sure you use a cold feather for those. Oops, you. Oh man, you can't aim for nothing, dude. Okay, that's three. Now we have to get the front. There she goes again. Yeah, you'll have a chance after she throws that one to actually get some eggs in. Yeah, she's getting tired now, I guess. Okay, we've done it. Thank God, holy crap. And all the Jinjo spirits go flying into the main one. Oh my God. Prepare for epicness, y'all. <laughs> she looks like the Chancellor on Chrono Trigger with her mouth there. Just holy crap. You know, and all the kids are playing the game get all excited, like, Oh, he's gonna kick her ass! This is gonna be so cool! Oh, you have no idea, though. This actually does kick quite a bit of ass. Boom! Just these explosions. Bam! Again! And again! And again! Your crafty plan stands no chance! I'm firmly rooted in this stance, and I haven't yet shit my pants! Jeez! Man! For an old woman, you sure can take a lot of pain. Oh, no. Jinjo! Arrgh! I've beaten fair and square! Before I go, I've this to share! Oops! I'm sorry. You missed. Uh, well, we finally done it. 
Oh, the rocks go falling down behind her. Oh my god, that's so epic. Can't even begin to tell you. Oh! <laughs> oh, this game is hilarious from start to finish. So I thought green was your favorite color. <gasps> Too heavy. Too heavy? What? Crunchy's fate, this should not be! So hurry, Klongo, rescue me!